everyone, welcome back to Podcast on Wheels, episode number 52. As we said on today's episode, please sit back and enjoy the show. We have several topics, and we have been gone for two weeks, so we apologize for that. But let's get rolling. So, the first topic is William's overheating issues. Yep. Okay, so we discussed in last podcast that my husband went to the ER for pot attacks and overheating issues. Um... It's been a while since then. He's been okay. He's since then not went to the ER at all. Um, but he did have a couple of more attacks where he would pass out, uh, uh, get an ice pack and like everything. And we filmed one of them because he was in a conscious state. He obviously wasn't in distress, no. scared or anything. So we filmed it to so he could tell you what it was like. But every time, or every day almost, uh, he would get get out Not his... Yesterday. Yeah, but get out his aid bag uh, that helps him, that has his water, his ice packs, his inhaler, his nebulizer, all the things that he would ever possibly need for overheating issues. Um... And it's been working great. He's still having uh, attacks. He's still having, you know, onset symptoms of some things. But he's doing way better. So if you are worrying about him, don't panic. He's okay. He's been doing good. Um, He's thriving. (laughs) Uh, And he's just been having issues. But, like, he's been okay. And they haven't been life-threatening issues. But, obviously, we... It, they return life threatening if we do not act on them quickly. Amen. The normal autonomic dysreflexia yeah. episodes we get are returning life threatening in minutes. <laughs> yeah, so, um, but yeah, that's my husband's overheating issues, but like, he's okay, and we do act on them upon them quickly so he doesn't have a stroke, pass out, uh, he doesn't have to go to the ER or anything, we just handle them at home. Okay, next topic. <laughs> Important discussion of Williams and Donnie's IEP. Okay, so we were up at 2 a.m. this morning discussing vividly about this. Oh, yeah. Um, about me and my husband's IEP. William, two months ago, addressed that our IEP was being ignored um, on our podcast. Yep. And it was bad. Uh, the... I'll give you a quick rundown of the story. Uh, basically, my IP was ignored for months, for if not possibly years, um, or like a year. That's a long time, and it my meetings were being ignored, my paperwork was being ignored, our therapy was being ignored, our insurance was being ignored, our tests and scores that we got on the test were being ignored, our accommodations were being ignored, everything we need fucking help in, ignored, denied, I'm like, what? It's so stupid, and my, me and my friends got riled up about this at 2 a.m. because we were discussing about stupid, awful things teachers did to me, and how they accused me of, like, not or making up excuses and lying, um, and, like, ignoring my IAP. And so Miss Martinez one time saw me and my husband wandering in the hallway, uh, looking clueless as shit, um, and she's like, oh, hey, and I was like, hey, uh, do I go to you or Miss Lowe? And she's like, oh, you know, go to either one, and she was confused when she saw me wandering the hall, and I was like, okay, you know, that's a little fucking weird, why right? an IEP student is wandering in the hall, yeah, okay, uh, and so one moment that really ticked her off and really showed her what was going on was Coach George, my history teacher. He's a good teacher, he's very nice, and he's accommodating. He's the first teacher that ever asked me that fucking junior year of college, saying, hey, uh, one of your accommodations on your IEP is to go to a special test room. For every t- test and quiz, would you like to go up to the room? I was like, yeah, no one asked me that in like a year and a half, thank you. I was shocked when he asked me that at the beginning of second semester. And 
obviously they're nice and they I have an IP folder or uh, me and William file. Uh, a file we have literally files of cabinets <laughs> and cabinets. we have a folder for the classroom to show and see what we did that day um so they write stuff down in there and see what I need to work on and my goals of that year um mm -hmm. And every about like, yeah, every year or every six months, we have, oh, sorry, I have an appointment with IP where we discuss how well my progress is doing. Am I still behind decades later? Uh, am I still thriving? Am I still doing this wrong? Am I, you know, we do that and we discuss that in online meeting wise. Um, and Miss Martinez, I came up to the, room and she was like hi she was like uh why are you here like she wasn't mad that she no. saw me she was mad because i she thought i didn't have a test because she has this schedule thing for all the students who have a test who have special things going on and she has schedules to work with other kids on ip who are more a severe level um who are like in a cte classroom and they work on cool stuff together and they work on planting and life skills um mm -hmm. and i just have a resume or a interview every year um that talks about whether I need support that in life. The school assistant yep. and, uh, and they look over it every year. Yep. <laughs> and they, they need to see what goals they're driving in and what, yeah, what you're yep. not doing well in. They have to make accommodations to that need that you're not doing well in. Yep. It's just the whole process of IEP, really. Yep. And so she saw me and she was like, wait, why are you here? I was like, Coach Stewart sent me. Uh, Coach George didn't send me an email. It was mandatory two days before a test for a teacher who has a student on an IEP to send them an email saying, yes, this student has a test on Wednesday, February 9th or something, you know? Mm -hmm. And Coach George did not even give her a text. So what I'm doing is a bag as a little talkie holder. Oh. <laughs> um, but she saw me and she was like, so Coach George sent you, but he, but he hasn't sent me a phone call, text, email like he's supposed to? Yep. Seems right. Uh, okay. Um, and she seemed pretty mad. And I was like, oh, are you okay? And she's like, it's not you, hon. It's just... I'm mad at your teacher. He's done this not once, but four or five times in the last upcoming weeks. I'm like, ooh, damn. So not only did they just do it on multiple accounts, like it wasn't once. I'm oh, sorry, it's a mistake, but it was multiple times. And she was mad at my teacher because they ignored me that much. And. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, my best friend, Big Dolly, was so mad at this. Um, you can, yeah, you can talk about it in a minute, but, like, Miss Martinez, like, you know what, um, let's take that elevator and stuff, because she had hip surgery, and we were walking back after my test, and she's like, and Miss Roberts calls, hey, Miss Martinez, can you translate for this student? And she's like, oh, yeah, um, also, great timing. I would love to talk to you in a moment. And she just screamed, and I was like, oh, no. Like, my special art teacher was furious. Yeah, I don't blame her. I want it, blame her. She should. She should be furious. My IP was being ignored. And she, and I was like, why are you so mad? Like, I wasn't like, it was not that big of a deal, but I realized how big of a deal it was. Yeah, and, and you're like, she asked me, how many tests did you have this week? I said, five. You visited me once. You were, are supposed to visit me every single time. She wasn't pissed at me. Yeah. God damn, I had five tests that week. What the fuck are y'all doing to me? You're trying to kill my dyslexic ass. Literally, he can't even information for shit. Exactly. Huh? Well, that's I'm like, brain rotten dead most I of the time. Because I hate when I don't talk to you something and you have to retain that information for 2.2 .2 seconds. Yeah. And what did I say? What? Oh my god, you were laser focused on my ass. How did you hear nothing? 
Exactly. That was sucks. Especially doing songs. Um, you you glance at your phone what? one time. What? what did you say? What the fuck? I'm like, it's just something weird. And I'm not. And yeah, sometimes I do know when you're listening and you're not listening. But I do most of the time, sadly. Sometimes when you are trying to listen and I say, oh, this. Water oh, bottle bless my heart. Twelve point two fluid ounces or twelve. Whatever, like a. Be a certain decimal. It'll be a number, a whole number that you could remember. Did you say fifteen? You looked at your phone for two seconds. Like this. Oh, it's so fucking annoying. Oh my god. Just like this. What? Uh, what? You you feel bad for me in this sense. Like you can't you imagine how I feel with actual information. Oh my god, you can't keep a water bottle number in your fucking name. In your brain. Yeah, and like, you feel generally <laughs> fucking bad. Catheters? That, that's another topic, but yeah. Just For what day? For the SMA, cover the mic. How much is boosting? Oh yeah, sorry. We're, we're, sorry, we're, we're not yeah. disclosing yeah. the numbers just yet. Okay, um... So, she was mad, and she was like, um, hey, Miss Roberts, uh, we McDonald's IP have been getting ignored. Oh, really? Yeah, you kind of forgot they fucking existed at four a point. Uh, um, they had five tests this week and only went to me once. No wonder why they're failing their fucking classes and they're tutoring one month in to the junior year. And I don't know what's gonna go. Stop ignoring me for Christ's sake. Honest, I'm scared for senior. I, I know where Miss Allard's classes and I I can get to the same way yeah. from Miss Cox to her class. Yeah. But that's second semester. Yeah. I don't know whatever class I'm So in. basically the moral of the story was <coughs> Basically, the moral of the story was, Miss Martinez thought, and generally said out loud, it is so unfair to you that your IP and your therapy and your help, the only thing you ask help in, so kindly, so nice, you get ignored. Charlie. You want me to hold the bike as you can? No, no, she's fine. I'm sure she's good. Um, I, I can't Charlie's. Meowing her ass off. <laughs> yeah, she always gets a side. But hell, like she's an outside cat. She loves being outside. Uh, we let her inside and we feed her because uh, if you don't feed your cat, uh, <laughs> sadly they won't make it long. Yeah, no, uh, damn. Uh, but share your thoughts on what you said last night about my IP and all the things I asked for help are being ignored. What's your thoughts? Well, this is Big Donnie speaking, um, but last night I done like a little skit with Luce, who yeah. pretended to be them in the skit, Baby Tiny Joke I was doing, yep. and I said, oh, like, that's too bad, we're gonna wait eight months to give you a pencil. Yeah, you really feel like almost half a what? year now we've been trying to And, so I was doing this, I was reenacting the therapy, I was like, hi, like, how are you, how are you doing, and then Luce responds, Oh, like, you know, my life's been crazy as fuck right now, and, you know, I, I haven't been doing great, like, you know, and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry to hear, well, I'm just gonna refer you a paper after eight months. What? what? Can I get a pen? No. no. That's too much. Like, it's a, it's an over-exaggerated depiction on what they fucking do. Yeah, what, what, like. No, you can't even get the ink. That's also too much. That? Wait, but then how do I even have any consent on what I do? You don't. You don't. You don't get a say in your IP meetings. Wait, but is it, isn't it, it, my? it, isn't it my personalized, personalized IP? No, that's the staffs. What? They what? Then what does the IEP mean? Individual? What? Indiv individual. Like student plan. There's there's other things in it. I can't say yeah. the whole thing, but it, yeah, it there's individual in there. I know that bit. Um, yeah. They don't. Everyone, the E does not stand for everyone. 
Yes, you have a decision and say into it, but I should also. Yeah, I don't care. So you get a say in your life, you get no. No, no one sends me a damn fucking paper after 15 months. A paper? It takes two clicks to print something. Here you go, your paper, ma'am. Be careful with that. I, I know. Like, here you go, your paper, ma'am. Simple. Not difficult. There is no reason your IP should be that fucking difficult. Or that so abstract in their like, mind. It's not like I'm asking for much either. You've had I'm asking for the basics. You, yeah, I know. You've had five tests today. Oh, well, this week. And we can provide you with one. What? Bitch, don't I... I, I the, no, no, no. Uh, bitch, even in that room, I fell. Literally. With, how do you think I do without the room? What? Gross. Are you stupid? Because, no. It literally takes someone to improve their test grade just sitting in a quiet room. That is all they need. And if you all can't need, even, and that is all. Just a basic form of what I need. Yes. I need more. <laughs> he needs more, but it's not every single day. Yeah. You know, the test is going to be weekly, uh, depending on the teachers. Um, mm -hmm. Every day, leave, day, day, week, yeah. month. Not every month, fuck no. And it all it takes is for him to succeed or him to do better, him to get Improvement. I was so dumb one point. I had my notes right beside me, and I, Miss Love had to sing a reminder song and an encouragement thing to remember. Use your notes. All right, we're gonna rock this. We're gonna rock this. We're gonna rock. This. We had to do a rock this song on the yep. exam. So that shit was a bop. <laughs> but you got a pretty good grade on. You got a fifty something. Yeah, with the boosted scores, ten. I got it like a seventy. I got a sixty. Fifty. No, I had a seventy without. Oh damn! Because because I, I ended up getting an eighty-eight or seven uh, eighty on it. Damn. Mhm. Mm I got a fifty, but, but with, the, with the ten up points, and it was a C. Yeah. Or a D. Damn. Originally, you were a D, but you got to a C. Originally, I was a C, then I got up to a B. Right. So, you got a 70, so that's a C. I got a 50. I'm still a D. Mm hmm A D. I wasn't up to a 70 yet. I know. So, I wasn't a C. Yeah, I know. It just with the higher points, you got to a C. No, I got to a 60. Oh my fucking I'll god! Fifty or sixty on the exam. My damn. So at best, I probably just scratched the surface of a C. Holy hell! My god. And I almost spent the same time. You spent like minutes, maybe. N maybe ten minutes lower than me because I was trying, and I knew you were trying. I'm not saying you weren't, but I was like trying to get nail this. I was like, "Yep, this is the only English exam I have." Okay, seventy. I'll fucking take it. I'll take a C. Each English exam, I always score a C in honors, too. Yeah. <laughs> I this one stupid Miss Graham exam. Do you want to? Uh, no, you can still have it. But I'm in this one stupid Miss Graham exam. I took four days of extra <coughs> credit recovery and doctor. Oh, and my God. And she got By one a, point. She got a four on the EOG. I am so proud of myself. With two redemptions and longer time over an hour longer to god damn it i got lower than my original score donnie pointless donnie had a three i think on the no, final i didn't have no three. I oh wait didn't get up to a three. Oh wait never mind donnie had like a two it's uh, still a two on the exams he's never made a four i never made a three. No, my fucking god yeah, no, no. Every exam I've been making a three. No, I don't ever make a three. Oh, my God. What? I was close one year. No. Teacher maids, I fail. And ELCs, I do pretty good. No, I don't. And. I fail teacher maids, I fail ELCs. I'm like, wow, yeah, sorry. you're fucking me up bad. I know. Y'all do so wonderful. If I, the one, I'm not trying to be mean here, but if, if I can retain the information and I get a 55 in exam, um... What about Donnie? Um, he's more fucked over. Yeah, he's a little. Yeah, I'm a little. A little lagged in there. I'm a little 
delayed. And I'm not even. Like, and I'm not even trying to. Seriously, little delayed. I know. And I'm not even trying to be mean. I literally have on my notes on my my chart. I'm not saying anything else because that's hip hop. If I choose to share it. Mm-hmm. I have a global developmental delay, we, so we that, everything me around me or uh, in me is delayed, yep. I, and I don't know how that affects me, but mm-hmm. I do know it affects me in some way than I would have been. I also have uh, global uh, de- de- uh, mm. delayed linear growth. Yeah, so, delayed growth. Yeah, tall. Uh, but anyway, yeah. And I've always had that. Don't worry, it's not like a huge deal. I know. And Donnie, I'm not even trying to be mean, but is a little lagged in the head. Yeah. He's a little slow. And you, you generally feel fucking yeah. bad. Yeah. No, 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 no. I, 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 mm-mm. it is annoying when I'm trying to show you songs or something, or yeah. or like make you, talk, or make you retain something so small it shouldn't be easily forgettable. And you feel so but, bad for me. But the next thing you're like, what? I forgot. How? How did you forget? It's you like two laser. numbers. No, I was on a laser dead ass. Fuck you. You went. Literally. And I feel I and feel you won't, so stupid. Look, and you won't twitch your eye away for a second. You won't do anything I more. I to the damn side. What? Oh my god damn it. You're like, how, how did you miss something in like I turn? And forget it. What? You feel so bad, right? Because it's stupid. I'm not blaming you for anything, but it's a little annoying sometimes when I'm trying yeah. to get some information out me. to you. And I... Imagine how dumb you feel as a person. Uh, Damn. And I retain it. And, and then I'm like, hey, what did I just say? And you're like... Three, eight... And the I fuck will, did you get three? And sometimes I will admit, I'm not ever not admitting that I'm not distracted or whatever. I'm like, sometimes on my phone and everyone gets distracted. Yeah. But as someone with dyslexia, autism, ADHD, global developmental delay, that fucks me up like shit. I, I have this graph here. away for five seconds. Without, uh, 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 So, so much numbers, so much time. I'm like, it overwhelms my brain. To the point it reaches maximum capacity. One sentence. Literally. You can only compute a sentence at a time when we're doing like a speaking challenge. And um, he said, don't say big words in here if I did it. It's a sentence. I can't remember a sentence. I'm like this. Hi. I can't. I'm like, I always will be like this. Hi, I'm Dot. I live in spider Wait, that's a little. Right? It's an introduction. It's like a, you generally feel scared. Right, it's an introduction, dude. How are you, how are you gonna forget that? Just say, <clears throat> hi, hi, I'm Doc. I live with spinal muscle atrophy and amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. The one he'll remember most likely. Hi, I'm Doc. I live with SMA and ALS. Yeah. See, I did you remember what I just said? Hi, I'm Doc. I live with SMA and ALS. What did I say before that? Hi, I'm Doc. I live with anima- amia. No. No, I can't remember. How, bruh? It's been I, like two, five I, seconds. I literally can't remember and I was dead laser focused on it. Okay. What did I say first? In the beginning sentence? Yes, in the beginning. Of which one? The first one. I don't remember. I just told you. Hi, I'm Doc. I live with uh, Amiotrophic. No. Nope. I don't know. I don't remember a fucking word. Oh my god. Hi, I'm Doc. I live with spinal muscle atrophy and amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Oh, I, I literally just said the abbreviated version of that. You no, know, that was my second sentence. Okay. Which is basically the same thing. Yeah, but I wanted you to say the full word. And that was the defining thing between each sentence. And so when I said the first sentence, I said, Hi, I'm Doc. I live with uh, spinal muscle atrophy and amyotrophic lattice sclerosis. The second sentence was the one he'd remember. Yeah, you generally, like, you can't use big words or a sentence bigger than words long. Huh? But shit don't compute in that shit. I know, it's so annoying. You do not understand how pissed off I am when somebody looks at me and says, 
Wow, you really can't remember that. Like, yes, I'm a dumb ass. I <laughs> cannot remember shit. I did. <laughs> No, and I that get... That was a perfect example yeah. on what and I do to multiple accounts I know, a day. I, I know, and I get annoyed with him. Not really specifically Adam, because mm. I don't know the struggle of forgetting every fucking thing. I, I'll be like this. Oh, like, you know, how's the weather today? It's like I'm lost out of it most what, of the What did you say? You were listening. I said, How, how's the weather today? Like, oh, no. it's great. Mm. Like, my responses are not only delayed, are not on topic, Wait. and are weird as fuck. And not really the responses themselves, but when I read your writing, I was like, what oh, the shit. fuck? I'm trying to read my damn I know, but I'm going to get out of this. Off. It's okay. I'm not reading a huge segment. We're still on this IP subject. I don't mind. Oh, God. Uh, William's Reels that he sent me yesterday. Oh, oh no. It's funny as fuck. That's it, one of the topics we have today. Mm-hmm. We've been discussing, and we went on an hour long, uh, an hour and a half long conversation about stupid IP shit and my memory. But I do not care that the writing, or that this part is going on long, it's a podcast. <laughs> okay, um, you gotta find a photo that you would normally pick. That's I can read that fast. Okay, look. Hi, this is Donnie's. Hi, guys. Cancer update on my husband. A lot of you might be confused, and I don't blame you. The I's not capital. 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 I can't say that word. Capital. Yeah. yeah. You. Okay, I don't blame you. A couple of days ago, we uploaded a video. You spelled uploaded. A video saying cancer is taking my life away. And the reason, you spelled reason, wrong, right, is because Donnie was losing scary amounts of weight and was never gaining anything back. Including he got sick before he got to two rounds in. So we had to talk about death and hospice. You, I think you spelled hospice wrong. To see if those were any options we had, oh my god, I have a stroke, Time if it got time. to the point, because nothing's comma or spaced. spaced. So I'm like, what? Yeah, and that's my right of nail. Uh, found, I found a Found a, no, mm, sorry. That was able to host. I couldn't spell fucking nice in fucking sixth grade. I know. That was able to host <laughs> Donnie and keep doing, host, what? Doing his rounds of chemo in there, including get his medication every day since then. Since then, the ICU was a great choice. We have been there for three days now, and he is only losing 0 0.5 a day instead of one stone and a half. So the weight loss got so much better, he still hasn't gained any weight, but the weight loss is way less woo, including he is on full-time feed bags at night, and the ICU was a great choice. We most likely spend many months in there for the cancer journey, but it was a great decision for his can journey. Thanks so much for reading. I hope this clears up any confusion. And that's, and that's fine. My recent post. Really? No, we're not gonna read it. No, no, it, it, it's not big. It's not the long one. Look, hello, everyone. Hello. Today is the day I get my joystick modified. You heard that right. As much as you know or don't know, I have ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. I've been having ALS for one month as of today. It's been such a huge journey, and it will continue to be a harder journey. I have not updated y'all in a while, and I apologize. My joystick is 3.1 ounce strength. Do not worry. I am okay. My arms have just gotten a little bit weaker, 3.4. They just did that to help me drive at 8 p.m. because I have weakness about causing my arms to get even weaker. But my breathing and head strength have not gone down, so I'm doing great in in those aspects. I am so happy that I got the got these new changes. Thanks for reading. I can read that with full closure because there are a lot there are commas, there are clear headings, there are parentheses to divide that up. When you do it is a what? And there are like commas, there are capitals capital letters where they're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. If you just see that the formatting is spaced uh, even on my phone, it's a little bit different. But the formatting is spaced. We have a lot of uh, capital letters. Yeah. We have a lot of the I, so they don't get so, mixed yeah. in with all the vowels and Basically, crap. Basically, her writing is hella, hella, yeah. hella, 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 better than mine. But <laughs> the moral of the story is, my IP is being screwy, ignored, yeah. my therapy is being ignored. Everything that I get help with is being fucking ignored, and it's still being ignored. Yep. Yeah. So,
So, literally, the third topic is Doc's broken phone. So, no, the one that I'm using to this day is my broken phone. Do not worry, nothing internally got broken. It still works perfectly fine. But, if you haven't mm-hmm. seen, sorry, a couple of days ago, I think I posted an Instagram post regarding that. How could a paralyzed person break their phone? Yeah. Well, She's this is how the story went down. Me and Matthew, we had just got done with dishes. Matthew puts my phone in his pocket of his pe- sweat, sweatpants that the pocket is a little loose. And then when he was carrying this blue hamper to put in the laundry, into the bathroom, plus the old hamper that I had just gotten used, he he kind of lifted it a little to lift it. And it hit the bottom of his short pocket or sweatpants pocket. Do not know how that happened. And it flew out. Like three feet above. <gasps> and all I hear is a mm-hmm. You okay? Yes. You just seem. No, I'm d- fine. Alright, it just went. Like it fell on the floor? It fell f- screen first down. Oh. And I was like. <gasps> and at first I didn't notice the crack because at the rest of the crack is so tiny that you literally have to put yeah. it at an angle. There was only one defining middle crack. Okay, it's fine. Um, but there was only one defining crack on there prior to my thumb. I knew that. That was fine. I knew I didn't really damage my phone. It was just uh, my thumb got too long. My fingernail on my thumb. Yep. And it scratched the phone. So, I had only seen that at first. Me and Matthew did that. And then later while we were playing Best Fiends waiting for Mac, <coughs> we saw, we tilted our phone and was like... <gasps> Yeah, you saw a huge... And I saw a huge crack going from one side of the screen to the other half. <gasps> oh, no. I was like, oh, sh-! I was so scared. I was like, oh, and I began turning my phone. Did you see me moving my phone in weird ways? Uh, a little bit, yeah. You were distracted on Instagram Reels. But um, I, I literally had to look at it a certain way to see the rest of it. But it's bad. There are pictures of it with flash, and it's bad. But that's after like four to six months of having this almost seven. Six months. At the time, almost seven, and now six. Um, well, no, no. At the time I had my phone, it was six months, but it was almost turning seven. Yeah, it's about, it's turning seven in like yeah. months, in like 20 something times. Yeah, I know. But, yeah, that is what happened. And it was crazy, but thankfully nothing has happened to my phone. My phone's fine. Like it's, it's not it still works like, like the weird. yeah. It still works like the stupid slow phone is. <laughs> <Yep. My phone's laughs> I know. And yesterday I was trying to listen to some Instagram yep. music, and it was like yeah. <laughs> beautiful. Yeah. Okay. What? What? Okay. Let's go. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so ducks versus. Dummies versus Doc's food person size plus jaw strength. We can talk about this one. Maybe. So, if you guys don't know, obviously I am the stronger one out of the two of us who yep. are weak. Um, we both have amyotrophic lateral sclerosis and spinal muscular atrophy, yep. which causes our muscles to wither away as time goes on. Yep. <laughs> and, oh, oh my God. <laughs> and we were, this was yesterday, we were doing like a little comparison uh, cake little test of Matt. A mom's cake, mom's but it was, cake was so, mm, yeah, it was so good. Oh, yeah, and <clears throat> early, uh, earlier when we were trying that cake, we we're like, oh, like this is yummy cake. It's like very so moist. Good. It's very nice, yummy. And so Donnie decided, I decide, hey, can I have a bite? Like, since I don't eat a lot, and so my brother Donnie gives me like this <clears throat> mid-side, mm-hmm. yeah, this morning oh. stuff. Um, and then, so my brother Donnie scoops a little bit of cake, and Donnie's like, holy sh- like, that's so huge! Oh my god! I'm like, oh, 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 okay, that's normal for me, because I have a five jaw strength, you have two. That's mm-hmm. a very low one. Five barely does me any good. <laughs> I don't know what two does. Um, it doesn't do very much. Nope. And, um... My brother gives in the bit. I try with my hand maneuver, and I'm like, "Oh my God! Like this, I get so hard." The cake bit, and it's soft and moist. That's scary. And so <clears throat> we, I'm fine. It's just you, you're no- struggling with demons over there. Yeah, it's no m- morning voice. Yep, so, I was struggling with yeah. coffee. So I, um, I get. Donnie is sitting there. <laughs> I know. I have like hazy in the morning, and I can never think. <laughs> so, in the morning. 
<laughs> Daddy, you can't be saying anything. Yeah, My God. Yeah, damn. You, for, you forget every two milliseconds. Okay. <laughs> in the morning and at night, in the afternoon. <laughs> It's a chronic thing. I know. It's like okay, a yeah, chronic yeah, condition yeah, at this point. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, Donnie is like, wow, well, like your bites are so huge. And then I see him grab his bite. That's what is that? It's like a crumb. It was so bad. And we filmed like a little video that's going in his chemo vlog soon. Yep. Uh, Thursday. Thursday. This Thursday. And mine is going this Thursday? Yeah, your next chemo round. Mm. Fun. Okay, and so after that, he just showed me his tiny little bite. It was like, oh my god! And then he started getting to proceed to four bites like I did, and a tiny taco. And when he did that, <laughs> when he did that, I was <laughs> like, I know if that was talk, I'd be like, what fuck? Okay, so when he did that, I'm like, what? What, what fucking taco is that? A <laughs> munchable sized taco bit. Not even munchable, but swallowable. <laughs> you inhale it and you swallow it. The taco. Um, and... <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm not thinking dirty. This is a podcast. And <laughs> when he grabs his little four cakey bites, puts the taco on, I'm like, what the fuck? And then, later on, Donnie tries my bite. Uh, he grabs a fork yeah, and he tries. And Sydney or William puts the bite into his mouth and he's like, oh, no, he's like, he's like struggling. He's barely moving his jaw. He's I making uncomfortable faces. It's like, <laughs> oh, it's so big. Uh, uh, like, he was dying, and he life. and he almost wanted to spit it out because how big it was. Yeah. The cake bite. The bite was so big. I almost wanted to spit it out on the plate. I wanted to, and like I could barely move my fucking jaw. I was like, oh, I look like I was immensely struggling over there. I know. Well, just sorry. Don't take big bites. No. So that is. That was the little story. There's not Pretty much to it. It's just wow. It's crazy. Your bites are huge. My bites are small. Yep. And the jaw strength. His is like noticeably worse than mine. Yep. He drinks nutrition shakes and gets feeds as his primary source of calories. So do yep. I. Cause I don't eat a lot. I use this. Yeah, yeah. I use this hand mechanism and hand maneuver. Oh, it's so fucking tiring. Yeah. Oh my god. It's so so oh, tiring. Yeah. Anymore, it's. Stuff. I literally have one of my hands under my chin, and as I'm chewing, I move my, like, the top of my jaw, and I assist the lower half with the hand. Mm -hmm. And it assists me in chewing harder things faster and quicker, but it also hurts the living heck out of my top hand, the only portion I can feel. <laughs> so, like, the hand maneuver has to be somewhere I can feel, but, like, there's no other way I can eat. Unless if you spoon feed me it, you're just going to have to give me extra tiny bites. So I can inevitably eat without pain. So yeah, that is our jaw strength. There's nothing really much to it. Just no one's leaker. One tried my bite, almost died. Yep. And one has the tiniest baby portion size or bites of all time. Now, William Strange feed on Instagram. So, you want it? Yep. Oh, shit. So, we talked about this, uh, and this is at 2 a.m. as well. We stayed up to 4 a.m. last night, uh, because apparently we're fucking stay up addicts. <laughs> um, and basically, my husband's feed is normally, um, on Instagram, singing, uh, relatable, funny, real. He was getting, let's just say, weird ass, uh, creepy. Um, downright horrifying reels that he's never it's seen like, before. Oh, uh, it, it was so weird. Um, it's only in my chemo vlog. Yeah, yeah, we filmed the whole eight minute bit, um, of that. But basically, um, all I have to say about that one is my husband's feed was fucking cursed that night, uh, <laughs> last night, and it was. So bad. He's like, I'm going to hell for this one. And the next reel he scrolls to, there was a man on fire. And then the next reel, he says, I see you. I'm like, oh my god. I felt like sneeze. Sorry. Um, I swear, I had two weird sneezes this morning. Like, you had a sneeze? 
I sneeze? No, I didn't sneeze. I almost sneezed, um, but like, I had two false sneezes today. Okay. I don't know why. It's really cute. <laughs> anyway, sorry. He was like, being taciturn as drinking my drink. Yeah, I, like, I was like, I don't want you to take him down on it. <laughs> In another topic. <laughs> what the? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what were you yeah, thinking? Yeah, 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 never mind. I almost talking about choking on a drink. <laughs> Not choking on a fat. Yeah, Donnie. <laughs> I mean, I knew you were thinking that, Donnie. <laughs> Not myself, but my, <laughs> but Doc's brother. Um, but what was just gonna say? My husband's feeble is cursed as fuck. What's so, that? The next topic is. My modified joystick. Yay. So, as of you got, as most of you guys know, oh my god, <laughs> that I recently got my joystick modified. It's uploaded on YouTube. We went to a whole wheelchair company to get my joystick modified. Now, this process for me was not at all common, but it would happen every so often that I would be used to going to get my joystick modified. It's like a 20 quick minute appointment. So, I go in there and Back then, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm a 4. Can I get my joystick deducted to 3.5? So maybe in the future, if I lost, I could already have it pre-modified and stuff. And, yeah, I just took the 4% that of arms that I had. Holy crap. My God, that's a lot. Like 4? Okay. I'm 7 to 6 lower. Damn. Like baby percent. Yeah, not percent. Oh, God. Um, And so today I am 3.4. Because it recently hit my one month ALS yep. diagnosis a couple days ago. So happy one month to me. Not yeah. quad. Uh, well, it's been years since quad. It's but decade. Yeah. <laughs> Sixth decade anniversary. No, okay. And so I have my hand on the joystick. And, and I've been having this issue where in the past or past before this point appointment, I had the issue of not being able to drive my chair past eight. <laughs> <laughs> like, hold on. I had an issue of not being able to drive my chair past 8 p.m. Because my weakness bouts happen at 8 p.m. And they did out two little baby points, or baby percent, below me. Babies. And then we got, <laughs> and then we just chill there. And I could not drive my chair past 8. It was stupid. It was annoying. And I was like, wow, like, I really want to drive my chair. And after it came around, I would notice it was already 8. I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, took all my day. And then I, and then... On this day, I was like, oh my god, like, we're getting the joystick modified. I was <laughs> I was so happy and so excited. And so I had my hand on the Joy-Con, and we started heading to the car. We showed clips in the car. We showed, it went like, it went like, I know. <laughs> and we, we just drive to the wheelchair place, and then they get it modified to 3.1. And you're probably asking, why the 3.1? When I have a weakness bout, it brings me to 3.2. But they do not want me pushing at my max strength at 8. They want it one baby percent lower so I can glide with ease at my weakness bout and not have really any issue with the other corresponding issues that are coming on with ALS and the weakness. So, yeah, it's just basically 3.1. And if you ever hear that, do not get concerned. My arms are not 3.1 yet. They're mm -hmm. going to be that in, like, three months. And... Alright, three months. Yeah, three months. Three to four. Um, and yeah, that's just my joystick. If it ever goes into two point nine, do not get concerned. My arms are still in the three, but I'm gonna be lower. Three point one. I think I think my jo uh, strength will actually be three point one. Yeah. So yeah, that is just my modified joystick, and yeah, really. So disaster birthday party. Yeah. <laughs> to sum it up, there's a lot. We were celebrating Max's 25th birthday party. We got through all the emotional gifts, all the fun pool parties, yeah. all of the fun laughing and having fun, until James, her uh, fiancé, starts cussing. And, I've never seen that, so I was so yeah. scared. And I'm not going to try and talk about it a lot because yeah. it's not our story and we don't want to say too much. But he started to yell. He got, basically he got a little too drunk, couldn't handle it, yelled at Mac, made her cry. He started cursing at even us. Yeah, he cursed out us, and he cursed out our mom and dad, and we were sitting there, and he's like, okay, it's like, oh, I'm a, I'm like, I'm fucking stupid, and, uh, yeah. You don't care about my family. Yeah. Well, and they're and fine now. Yeah, fine. they're fine, they're fine. That was so weird. Nobody got hurt, nobody got thankfully. swinged at, thankfully, but it. They almost ended up physical fight in California. Yeah, it was a drunk 
catastrophe mixed. if you wanted. Because he had seven beers, four mixed drinks, Dog. and found a twisted tea and another yeah. smear off. Dude, he was drunk off his ass. So I think he had like eight to nine alcoholic things and then four mixed drinks. Yeah. My fucking lord. My wife yesterday had like four beers. Five, oh, four. Five or four beers. And... And that was crazy for me to have, but she wasn't too drunk. She was no, just like... she wasn't getting mad or anything. No. My wife isn't a mad drunk, thankfully. Um, I mean, sure, if she drinks enough and something pisses her off, she's going to be mad. Yeah. Ooh, I don't like seeing her mad. Okay, but, uh, yeah. And I uh, don't need to say that. No. Uh, she's a... Okay, Yeah. Yeah. When she's angry, <laughs> not naturally. Oh my god. Just she's a, a bitch just naturally. Like she's that. a bitch just In naturally. Of you, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, it's okay. We love you. Oh, no, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, that was just a catastrophe birthday. Everyone's fine. Uh, you just basically, got... it ended up in a junk party. Almost found the police hurting people's feelings. And yep. people too. They have more in the vlog, but if you don't want to watch that, just you skip know, over it. Okay. You so, know. the hurricane. I He knows a little bit more about this than I. Um, I can bring up a screenshot. Oh shit, never mind, I have 15 grams, so I'll <laughs> Never mind! Uh, I don't... Never fucking mind! Uh, Is that I... a grandma? No, that's a... Oh. Old lady shelter. Uh, okay. No, sorry, that's an end. <laughs> They're like, what? What the fuck is going to do today? Wow, um, anyway. Uh, I don't know what the name of the hurricane is, but it started off as a hurricane that would go up to over 80 mile per hour winds that was heading our direction. Um, there was a bit of storms last night, a bit of rainy. Uh, I think it's still coming this way. Uh, that's <laughs> very comforting, you know. And now, I, I, yeah, and I think it moved down to a tropical depression, depression of a, like level three or something. So it's quite high. Uh, it's over like 50 mile per hour winds at dust wind gusts. Um, and then, Cut. or like, <laughs> it could fly me away. Uh, my, you can blow your twig ass yeah. <laughs> Oh, that was a uh, fan. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. back and pressure everybody. <laughs> 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 the fact that you, the fact, the fact. <laughs> You know the funny part? The everyone's running them up over right now. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> They're making fun of my little size. That's how y'all blow. <laughs> yeah, my tweet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna blow your tweet. Oh, that's not funny. 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 Oh, that's Okay! God damn! Anyway, it's just gonna be a uh, big wind gust causing some damage and other stuff. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> so it could be a hurricane. I don't remember what the name of the hurricane is. I'll try to bring you up, I think. You, I can. You get more for Fuck. <laughs> damn it! I probably just screwed so loud. It's Burry. What? That one. Hurricane. It's Burly. Burly. It's B E R Y L. B R L. Tropical storm. It's moving in our direction. We're in the red of the radar. Uh, I'll check on it today, actually. You're in the eye wall. Uh, be prepared. It's still showing up in my weather app. Like, oh yeah, it's heading down in your way. Oh, that's uh, concerning. Ah. <laughs> 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 oh, fucking god damn it. Oh my god! It's seven. Oh, you serious? Oh, oh yeah, look. Is it still in effect? Chris! Chris! There's the tropical. What the fuck is there another Chris? There's a tropical. There, there's a. That's a tropical depression and it's named Chris. Where? Never mind, we have another hurricane. Chris, tropical. What? There's two? That's not the same name of the hur. Look! Sustained wind, 35 miles, wind gust, 45 mile per hour. Look, see? Chris. Chris. Yeah, new hurricanes are spotted. Oh. oh my god, is there two? 
We have Burlow and Chris. Chris seems the to red zone is coming near us. Oh, movement speed seven miles an hour. That okay, that doesn't sound too bad. Because it's a tropical depression, that means a hurricane has like wind down and doesn't have enough. But well, I think it's okay. Um, but we do have two. Never mind. We do have two hurricanes, Chris and Burley. Well, we have yeah. an active hurricane. Early, and we have a tropical depression, Chris. Yep, so we have a tropical depression and a hurricane, so a lot more information. But thankfully nothing has happened, it's like brightest outside. Yeah, <laughs> and it's beautiful, it's fucking beautiful outside, 76 degrees, we're beautiful. 18 hurricanes, it's fucking sunny. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, anyway, no hurricanes. basically I'm not too worried about it, but I'm a little concerned, you know, just oh, check out every fear. That's not what happens every single fucking time. Okay. No it, hurricanes. No, well, eight, 18 hurricanes. Is the sky sunny as fuck? No hurricanes. Is the sky green? Like, is there gonna be a tornado? Yeah, okay, um, anyway. Oh, Basically, all about the hurricanes. Grammy's birthday. Okay, so, <laughs> Grammy's birthday was <laughs> June 29th, uh, the same day as Max's birthday party, but we celebrated Max's actual 25th birthday on <laughs> June 30th. Yesterday, it was super much, it was super <laughs> much fun, apparently. <laughs> 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 um, but, Grammy's birthday is... <laughs> I remember yesterday, you started so again. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they said funny. Okay, shut up. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you, respectfully love you. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Okay, okay, I'm just saying. Stop, stop! Stop! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, but basically, I made a sweet video for a mom. Uh, I think I can bring it up. Right, while she was at work. Yeah, she cried. At 3 p.m. when... I got a little too eyed And it was me too. Um, but I didn't full on cry. Yep. Uh, I think it could wait somehow or whatever, but... This time oh. wasn't in <laughs> I hope this isn't not loud enough. This isn't goodbye. This is simply oh, this beautiful photos. Yeah, I, you home. I love this one a lot. It's so pretty and mom was like crying. Hold on, I still want you. And so black and white and then colored photos. Yeah. Of the ICU. And that was, alright, happy birthday, that was on the end it said. <laughs> to live in the hearts of others is to never die and those we leave behind. That was a quote and then it showed her. Mm -hmm. I basically made this sweet one minute video. Uh, about Dremu and for her birthday, uh, honoring her, she, uh, it will hit eight months passing on July 16th, 2024, uh, so it's been like almost eight months without her in two weeks. Damn, yeah. that's insane, right. oh my and god. If you guys don't know, she passed away November 20, uh, 16th, 2023. Yep. So she passed away almost eight months ago yep. and we're honoring, uh, for her birthday and it was very sweet and we celebrated with uh they had like seafood or something uh oh yeah like her little seafood mm. that she really loved it was good uh and it was did you see it match probably when mom like saw a purple cup she said yep and she, i'm getting purple yeah and she, she got the like, but it was sweet um she she cried and I got a little teary down at that. <laughs> um, but it was sweet. I liked the edits and that was for a grandma's birthday. Moving on. Win and down a terrific turkey nightmare one year ago on Cheerwine and Water. Okay. So I'm not letting go of the yeah. uh, These stories are from over a year ago. The Cheerwine moment may be almost hitting close to two years ago. But all of them in a one year's time span. Recently the Great Wolf Lodge trip hit one year ago, January 19th, 
2024 would hit one year. So it just recently hit a year ago, like a week ago or something like that, or 10 days ago. So, uh, yeah, it's been a while since then, and I'm great, I'm fine, doing good. Um, but we'll talk about the cheer wine. So this is my first time trying the cheer wine. Uh, and so that, yep, uh, me and my husband, and we cracked it open, and we were, we were both everybody, no, hmm, I think I was struggling with issues, um, but we went to drink it, and Donnie, big Donnie, was doing some funny shit in the back, I don't know what he was doing, he was doing something, so, no ill intentions, yeah, just being you were just being funny, and, and I did not know yeah, that took the whole yeah, bowl. and funny, and suddenly, uh, he does something funny, and my throat, like, I, <coughs> oh, like, I can't breathe, my eyes begin to water, uh, and I start coughing, <laughs> yeah, I couldn't breathe, I couldn't breathe, I started coughing, I mean, it's like, <coughs> <laughs> I'm not dying like that, and cheer wine, burning red cheer wine from my throat, Right. Yeah, 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 so Donnie died asleep. <laughs> 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 I was like, <laughs> Because cheer wine, <laughs> burning throat cheer wine. <laughs> no, burning throat cheer wine. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's in my throat. <laughs> went up my nose. It went out my mouth. I was vomiting cheer wine. <laughs> I was I was sort of choking him, not breathing. I was vomiting cheer wine. I was throwing out cheer wine. Yeah. Oh my god. Every few months, me and my husband have a horrific joke accident. So, no. Um. And Donnie thought I was bleeding. He's like, oh my fucking god. Are you okay? I said, I can't, I couldn't talk, I, no, I couldn't talk, I was throwing up and gagging to mine, it was going up my nose, through my nose, it was burning, I was crying, my tears were going down my face, I couldn't breathe, for seconds and seconds and seconds on end, and I was like, Ugh. and my throat felt so weird for fucking 20 minutes after I was suffering for 30 minutes. That was what you wanted to try to And it looked... <laughs> and it looked like I was bleeding. It looked like I was vomiting up I was like, Donnie! Big Donnie's saying, Donnie, uh, are you throwing that fucking blood? <laughs> no, I'm just uh, choking and vomiting up a uh, cheat one. <laughs> That's way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so funny, but <laughs> obviously it was terrifying, and I never, I don't think, I probably took a sip of two Ron since then and never fucking drank it again. <laughs> and here are my thoughts, I found it so fucking hilarious, you got spit on the fucking mic, dude. No. God, no. No. Um, no, but look, 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 what's funny is, I just said this, I said this. I was like, the minute I made him laugh, I was like, <gasps> I was like, oh, no, oh, shit, I just done did it this time. I killed him. I literally killed him on how much I made him laugh. And he started, <coughs> are you okay? <coughs> I and I, keep in mind, I have a fucking metaphobia, so that goes pair and pair. I'm like, oh, God, oh, shit. He's going to get vomit. And he's like, <coughs> I get my <laughs> So it was like gargling. <laughs> And the next thing you hear is like I hear liquid no, going into the sink. And I was like this, and I turn my head and I just see red. Oh insane. no! What did you have a fucking pulmonary infusion? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you started vomiting up blood, and like right. seemed like you vomited up blood. I was like, and then and the next thing you know, you're like, <laughs> I'm so tired. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm so. <gasps> I'm sitting here covering my ears at the time because I'm able body. I only got injured like seven, six months ago. So, it's been way past seven months of fuck. Seven months something. And I'm like, <gasps> the silence in the atmosphere was loud. You were <coughs> Are you okay? My voice changed. 
changed. <laughs> yeah, I just choked on G1. <laughs> that, that, that what the fuck? You choked to die almost? Did you throw up? <laughs> no, I'm good, though. <laughs> I think the G1 got stuck in my throat. <laughs> yeah, like, and you, like, literally were choking on the G1. Yeah. I was so scared. And then you fucking threw that shit away. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I poured the rest of the cheer on down the sink. Yeah, uh, so basically, more, <laughs> basically more of the story, I choked, I couldn't breathe. What's the the, in, the Wait, hold up. The inside of my um, throat was gargling. I was throwing up cheer wine, oh. gagging on cheer wine, choking, couldn't breathe. <laughs> then, uh, <laughs> I was struggling immensely. I hate that. <laughs> and that was the scariest shit of my fucking life. Moving on to another horrific moment. Me and my husband were in the pool. <laughs> oh, <laughs> in the pool. <laughs> and Doc. <laughs> yep. Damn it. <laughs> and, and Doc kept begging us. She asked 18 times in a fucking hour. <laughs> saying, like Go in the water. <laughs> she begged 18 times. Go in the water! Go in the water! Go! Go with your eyes open! Just do it! Go! No. <laughs> and the one, and Doc was like, No! It's so wonderful! It goes so great for me, swimmingly! Oh my god, it's so cool! <laughs> Imagine! Don't go ahead on the water! And a internal scared reaction made us open our mouth, <laughs> suck in, I sucked in! <laughs> <laughs> gulps and gulps of water. I swallow some. I probably swallow piss and chlorine. <laughs> and then a big and it's stuck in my throat. <laughs> I can't swallow. I can't go back. <laughs> uh, 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 I was for 20 seconds right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't <get> go. <laughs> and Doug was like, "Literally, Doug, she actually made it worse." I was sitting there. I just wait. I just swallowed piss. I probably swallowed some shit particles. <laughs> I don't know what I swallowed. And then I had this big ass gulp in my throat that can't get out, can't swallow. I cannot breathe currently. I'm literally trying to. Uh, <laughs> and like the water up my nose, my eyes are burning. <laughs> All three city is sorry, some water. <laughs> oh my God. So not only were the goggles did not protect me somehow, water got in my goggles. Can I tell you? Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Water got in my goggles. I swallowed piss and shit particles <laughs> and chlorine. I then gulped up a big ass thing. Couldn't breathe. Couldn't move. And I was hit my thigh. I was like, oh, And I was like, ah! You like, ah, 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 My legs. I was like, Ugh! I was in the goddamn uh, pool chair, Ugh! dying for my fucking life. And my husband, <laughs> my husband is like, kind of touching my throat and like that. Right there. And we're trying to, we're we're beating our chest, trying to get it out because we cannot breathe for 20, 30 seconds. We couldn't breathe. And then it, we, it finally comes spewing out our mouth. We cough it up. It goes through my nose. I did. I don't think I did nose. My eyes are burning. My nose is burning. The water went through my nose. <laughs> <laughs> and my eyes burned. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> Doc is like, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? I was like, bitch, I cannot talk. I cannot. I couldn't talk. It was so bad. Oh my god. I couldn't. Mm. Yeah, I was like, <coughs> and my throat felt weird. Up. Oh, but I remember feeling so weird for an hour. <laughs> my eyes burned. I was like, <laughs> I kept constantly coughing for an hour. I was like, <coughs> for an hour. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It was lasted till 10 a.m.
Let me. <laughs> it's right in the early morning. <laughs> Uh, so that was my horrific cheer on and turkey moment. <laughs> Look, uh, this is how it fucking went down. <laughs> Dog had simply asked Duffy or your crew yes. to try going underwater. She wasn't like be. Yeah, she, she was, was being. Be I know. She was, be <laughs> she was being persistent about it, but she wasn't. <laughs> she said, "If you don't like it, you don't have to do it again." I. She was being nice about it. She wasn't saying, "Oh, you have to keep doing it even if you don't like it." No, 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 no. She said, I'll "If never you do that again. if you don't like don't it, don't ask me to go underwater when we go to Great with fucking Lodge." I I'll ask you to try it. No. Okay. Don't even ask. And and so I had these goggles that helped me see underwater because I've never had the ability to do that. Nice. And so they. I got these goggles. I was so amazed. I could swim underwater. I could be underwater. I was like, oh my god, like, this is absolutely amazing. This is great. This is awesome. Uh, but the and next. You want to say, well, my, well, my friends, I say, no. No. And, but the next. But the next thing you know, I'm like, uh, hey, maybe with the goggles, you don't have to worry about closing your eyes. So that's the one less thing you have to worry about. So yeah. I was like, okay. So I put on the goggles on Donnie, or Matthew does that. Yeah. And then. Uh, stuffy, my my boyfriend goes underwater, uh, and, and all I see is head dip. Okay, I'm like, okay, he's about. Oh no, he comes back up. No, and he no 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 no, 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 He is sitting there, and he dunks his head, and I hear it in an audible. I hear. Oh, um, oh, <laughs> he died. <laughs> he died again. Minus one thousand Aurora points. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Fuck no. And I'm like, so the like, curse died. And then My he, he pops. Okay, he, he pops up. Oh. <laughs> I know. Yeah, let me let me tell. Let me tell. He pops up. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> 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 Okay, this is happening again. <laughs> Poor me. <laughs> Poor me. <laughs> and he's coughing. He continues coughing like a good. It felt like forever. He's <laughs> coughing. <laughs> I'm still trying to get it out. <laughs> and he's like banging on his chest. <laughs> My crew was fucked. And they I'm cough. Fucked. And I hear them. <laughs> Look at water again. I hear some water spew again, <laughs> and they stare at me. I'm like, I was like, I went like purple around in my lips. <laughs> <And just> like, <laughs> <coughs> we were so bad, and my crew was in. And then coughing. he keeps coughing for the next hour, <laughs> we were like, and we were like, and then he said, "You want to go on a green slide?" No. Get you to die. Donnie and Stephanie, no. You don't like going backwards. Next thing you know, when you go backwards, half the slide gonna fall. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! <laughs> no, not to the big weight. No, I've been to the bad oh, luck. Because of the bad luck, like you have to start gonna unhinge. <gasps> oh! <laughs> every time, every time I try something new, dog's like, please try, please try, please try. Like she's a non-repetitive bitch ass work. Like no, don't lie. She shit. She told me 50 times <laughs> to go underwater. I'm not telling you 50, you just said it 18. 18 times in a fucking hour. <laughs> uh, and we were only and we, for three hours. So you asked me 20 times in three hours. And that was the first day. Sweetie, there was four other days. <clears throat> and by the fourth one, you died. Yeah, yep. And so every time I try something new, I either get sick... Something goes wrong, I fall up the float, uh, <laughs> I go underwater, I submerge, I fall, I get drained, I get underwater. No wonder why I don't like trying new things, Doc. If, do not pester me. If we ever go on another vacation and say, do this, do that, and like, do not pester me. Do not. You will not try my limits because every single time you say, do this, do this, do this, everything goes wrong. <laughs> It's so bad. I. Yeah, I, I probably slipped before <laughs> trying to jump in the pool. <laughs> 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 yeah, you're I think I choked my toes. I was trying to. <laughs> 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 Why is the one you're on the two for this? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Yeah. No, I'm gonna. No, so I, yeah, we're gonna try to wait for. Oh. I don't, <laughs> but, no, we had to get your flashlight. I mean, okay, we're gonna try three. I know, I know. But then we're like, okay, we're gonna try all tricks and him. And ten minutes later, a ten-year-old boy grabs my leg, and I start going. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I cannot. <laughs> And he was standing there, looking at myself, <laughs> like, what? Well, I was like, I was like, hi, like, he was a 10 year old boy, I was being nice, he's a kid. And he and grasped, like, <coughs> like, boom, boom, because he was, he was playing around, and then he grabbed my legs. I was, I was sitting underwater, and then I got picked up by three big kids. Yeah, we got picked no, up. Yeah, so not only did I almost fucking drown again. <laughs> With my mouth open, so I was gonna choke again and I die. <laughs> and then, and then somebody pulled me, dragged me underwater, and this was in a day too. I choked on the water. I swallowed chlorine. I was coughing up shit for an hour. I, I felt. I tried to pull that day too. Oh my god, pull me! <laughs> no, I got dragged from a. No, I got dragged by a little boy. I uh, then got bullied by three other big boys, and then, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, and I think I fell out the floor of the side. We, we I fell out the floor. Remember the big ass slide, the big float? Oh, oh, I, I fell out the floor. Remember at the end of the world when we stopped? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I fell. So, yeah, I, I almost went under. <laughs> <laughs> it was two feet wide, it was like two foot five. But like um <laughs> so I think <laughs> Yeah, I almost went head first. I went head first. <laughs> okay, so uh, Doc Doc had nothing wrong happen to her. She was peachy. She was good. She was having the time of her fucking life. No. She was having the time of her fucking life. I got bullied. I choked. I almost choked again. I fell out of flow. Um, uh, somebody dragged me under the water. <laughs> so basically, five things. Thing, huge green screen, but, and we are. T we were going on, and I think I went backwards. I think. Yeah, we, and oh. and Donnie. <laughs> I'm tumbling. I'm tilting. Falls. It, he kind of briefly lands on his side, but he doesn't. And then the point. Oh, yeah, I fell off the I fell off the float. It was okay. I wasn't in the float. I fell off the float. At the oh, of course I had to be in the in the right of the fucking oh, mountain in front of everyone. Okay, that's not embarrassing. And, and, and the life <coughs> Are you okay? <laughs> and I was having a lifetime of a struggle to get me. <laughs> you fucking asked me. I remember when getting out the ride thing. Um, I like stubbed my toe or I oh. like half my knee or some shit. I can't remember what I did, but my toes come back, I was like, Ugh, <laughs> There she is! <laughs> okay, the, um, anyway, that was uh, my husband's right. and my, uh, choking horrific incidents, and why I have such fucking bad luck trying new things. And, and I remember <coughs> Dad, he went on that green side, he went in the front, all around the side. He was so happy. We, <laughs> we were fucking flying. Our friends were on this ride, because, mm, mm, Bitch, I will fly out. <laughs> uh, our friends were on that ride, and they... And one was 95 at the time, almost 100 king. 105? 6? Well, yeah, I don't know. Anyway. And they're going on, and keep in mind the dad's 190. Yeah, we basically just start flying around. And like, not really, but. Yeah. Okay, uh, what's the next topic? Kicking off water, extra ICs. Okay, you. That's the story. Oh, shit. Yeah, sorry. But that, that was just a funny ass yeah. story. Yeah. So, this story that. is based on what we do my on a. Uh, what, what? The, uh, the short of a. Oh. Well, part. okay. Awesome. Well, for me, I. Or what we do, we were going to a speaking engagement, and these are things that we had. Literally, a couple days ago, we had a one hour speaking engagement. Super quick, super easy. But. That was not this speak. That was not the speaking engagement that things went wrong. There was this one in particular speaking engagement we all went to. Lose me, uh, Sydney yeah, the and life. Sydney and Emmy, and we were all chilling there. And I want to just base it off. Sydney has cerebral palsy. She does not have issues with her bladder. My wife Emmy, who is a C five C six and complete quadriplegic, has issues with her bladder. I am a C three C four C five T one complete quadriplegic and do not have control over my bladder. Loose is a T eleven T twelve complete par paraplegic, 
and I have no control of my bladder. So all of us, almost all of us, do little ICs during throughout the speaking engagement so we don't get autonomic dysreflexia. At least one of us can't, which is loose. But I have to keep a, a watch on, literally a watch on my watch. I have a watch that tells me how full my bladder is. Um, it's pretty accurate most of the time, so that's great. So for me, we for me and Emmy's level of injury and Big Donnie's, he forgot to mention he was also there, so he won C2 complete quadriplegic. We all get autonomic dysreflexia besides loose. Autonomic dysreflexia is just basically a response that is a new way of your body telling you there's something wrong with his spinal cord injury, with those corresponding nerves. Yep. Because anything below your injury, injury, yeah, below your injury site will get affected and any autonomic dysreflexia will occur. <clears throat> the higher level of injury, the more prone you are to more higher episodes of autonomic dysreflexia. Yep. Cervical is one of them. T T6 up, you'll get autonomic dysreflexia. T6 down, you will have a rare chance of getting autonomic Some dysreflexia. Some people can get it, but most times not. Yeah. So as a pair, you got to keep a real watch. So um, we are sitting there. We Keep in mind, Luce has a stomach bug this day. Um, so I have to drink a lot of fluids, and when I, I drink, yup, oh, so stupid, and Luce has a stomach bug, everyone else is okay, we are fine, uh, Luce could manage it, but it was hard to manage your stomach bug when you have no sensation, when you have no idea when it's coming, nope, have no clue, and so we were all sitting there, we were chilling there, and we had done one IC in the morning, we are like, okay, we should... The worst one needs five or six a day. Big Donnie, that's fine. <laughs> and then I average up to five or he four. Has a poly bag. I know, but he was in an outfit that didn't have his leg uh, bag. Oh, yeah, he didn't have his leg bag on that day? No, because he doesn't keep it in permanently. He will take it off and then yeah. leave it off for a week, put it in for a week. So, yeah. His is transitional. Um, so. What we did is we done one IC in the morning, and we're like, okay, that should hold us off for a little while. Besides, lose the fact that she was chugging down water bottles because I felt hot, and when I get hot, I'm going to have a most likely chance, this yep. is me, loose talking, when I get hot, I get, like, a chance of overheating because I have no <laughs> movement below, like, my T12 vertebra, T11 down. So, no. T11, T12. Yeah. Complete. And your, t uh, and your legs help, heart. yeah, and your legs help you uh, cool down faster. Um, the hypothalamus is actually for temperature yep. regulation, but your legs yep. help cool. Say, say how much you, uh, <coughs> I see, I see you. Yeah, well, because it's already 11, 14. I know. For us, in the end, I had to do 25 ICs. Thankfully, I did not have a UTI. I do not, I did never have a sign of UTI. It was just because of how much fluid I drank, and my bladder only holds 500 cc's, which is a lot compared to a lot of people, which is great. Yeah. Donnie's only holds yeah. five, 300, 400, yeah. which is small, but that's the normal capacity, and he doesn't start kicking off. Um, he can get up to 600, but that's when he kicks off. Um, a lot of us get up to 500 or 600 before kicking yeah. off. Uh, and I'm uh, showing signs. Yeah, I can hold up to... 500 and 600 ICs with, without kicking off. 600 ICs? No, sorry, CCs. Um, <clears throat> but when I do kick off, it's like 650. I don't have a lot of time. Yeah, I can hold yeah. 600, but when I kick off, it's 650 or 500, depending on the day. And, of course, that day it had to be 500. Yeah, of course. And I had to keep going to the this mall that had an accessible bathroom that we know best, like the back of our hand. And I have, have kept going to that mall. I was so weak because of the stomach bug, so Amity had to carry me like a little baby. So I was like, that was fun. That was fun. Uh -huh. So that's the only time I needed support on transfer. So I was like, oh, okay. Didn't bother me that I needed help. I, it just bothered me the whole day I was spent in the bathroom. Because I have done 25 ICs. I'd done 15, a lot more than I'm supposed yeah. to. i done 9 or 10. Yeah, Amy. That's a fucking lot. So, Amy did 9 or 10. Doc did 15. Luce did 25. Uh, Big Donnie, I think, done like... 10? Something? No, 15. <laughs> the same as Doc. 16 or 17, I think he did. So, we've done a lot of catheters, or ICs, and an IC is an intermittent catheter, which is just a way we use the bathroom to pee. Yep, and so, yeah, we've done a lot of catheters that day. It was crazy insane on how many catheters that um, that we had to do. Which is like, woo! So, that's crazy. Um, that was the worst, um, 
I see moment. I see I, moment in I history. Mean. Naturally, we go through three or four like a day. That's normal. We don't get worried about that. We're like, oh, that's normal. Especially my wife when she drank four beers. She done an IC this morning. She done an IC last night. And she done an IC in the afternoon and an IC in that morning. So it's already five or four ICs gone, but that's fine. Not today. Only one to two. Uh, one, I think. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So, yeah, that was all the most high, not right, what? Hmm? What? <laughs> no, that was the most highest IC count we got in a day. And we weren't trying to go for a record, but okay. So, yeah, now the next thing is COVID Palooza. Do you want to talk about that or no? Yes. Okay. So, this is the moment I had COVID back in late of 2020 if not early 2021 uh we were in eighth grade college year so we were tiny we weren't in freshman yet uh we still needed freshman sophomore junior senior we had a bunch of years of college stuff. but we were in eighth we were in the eighth grade year of college um so we we're eighth graders in college um and we were on online school because the pandemic and COVID started back in March of 2020 uh, when we went out online and we were out of school for over a year and a half for online remote learning. That sucked ass. Um, I don't recommend that. Uh, and it was not fun, but I had to... At the time, I didn't realize this was COVID. Uh, I don't know how I realized this was the worst fucking sickness I've ever had. And it was like moderate to mild COVID. It was fucking... No. I was sick for two weeks straight. Um, and it's not like the strep and cold and allergies like me and my husband had like two months ago when we recovered. Uh, or three months ago, sorry. It was, like, much worse than that. The first night, um, was, I felt a little weird, you know, I was just chilling, and nothing went wrong, like, I was drinking milk, um, and I was like, hey, my throat kind of hurts a little, you know, I'm just gonna get a little weird, stupid cold thing I get every year, you know, whatever, it's kind of a weird date to get it, but okay, like, it was in the middle of, like, spring, which is something you don't really get. No. Uh, I'm guessing something happened, but I was like, okay, you know, I might be getting a stupid co cold. It sucks that I'm getting sick. I'll do precautions to not get sick anymore and heal within time. The next morning, I wake up. I'm in horrific pain. I feel like I got smacked in my body with a truck. When I tell you, that was the worst body pain and soreness I've ever felt. My symptoms were uh, dizziness, severe fatigue. Oh my god. I fell asleep sitting up. And I was so sore, and I had stomach pain, runny nose, congestion, sore throat, a bad headache. Oh my god. That was literally the worst headache I've ever had. I seriously don't wish COVID on my worst enemy. It sucks ass. Doc thankfully never had COVID. They've been free. And I never got it. I guess I'm immune to it now. Because I got COVID back then. Uh, and I wake up in immense pain. I'm not feeling well at all. And for the la next two weeks, I suffer with severe fatigue where even if being awake for even eight hours a day after 15 hours bed bound lying in bed i was so tired i one time stayed 20 hours in bed and i didn't eat for over like a day and a half yeah my eating and drinking went down i was dehydrated i had low grade fevers i was not feeling well i was almost crying every position change I was almost crying, tears from laughing, Literally. and I was suffering with a bunch of sneezing, coughing, oh my god, it was so bad. I didn't eat for like over 48 hours at one point, I was in bed for over like 20 plus hours, and got up out of bed for two hours, and went right back in the bed, I was so exhausted, I was beat down, I felt so weak. I was tired, I was sore, that was the worst pain I've ever felt in my whole 
entire life and my whole crew, like my, he wasn't my husband, but really wasn't my husband or boyfriend at the time. This was over four human years ago, so it's been a while. Uh, but my friend William at the time, it's weird to say that because now he's my husband. But I was just going to say, my husband William was... He had COVID. My friend Stuffy had COVID. Like, my whole crew had COVID. Everyone was fucked in my crew. And, of course, your people were fine. They didn't catch anything. How did you not catch COVID? I'm over here suffering. I don't even know. <laughs> um, I'm glad you didn't catch it, though. Oh, my God, it sucks ass. Uh, but... I believe you. Like, they see me. I was almost in tears trying to persist and change. Yeah. I couldn't lie down. I couldn't move almost. I couldn't... Uh, laugh, I couldn't eat, I couldn't drink, I couldn't do shit without immense pain. Literally. And I was, oh my god, I can't tell you how miserable I was for over nine days. Those bad symptoms of those horrible ass headaches and shit lasted over nine days. And then the headaches and s the, most of the big sore body pain went away. But then I was still sore, I was still congested, I still had on and off headaches multiple times a day. Literally. Still that low grade fever, rosy red, and the whole sickness. It took me 16 days to finally be symptom fucking free. God. It took up to 20 to 16 days. Three weeks. Of having symptoms, not all the bad symptoms, but three weeks I had stomach pain, headaches, fevers, nausea, uh, diarrhea, everything that comes with stomach bug, COVID, whatever. I knew it was COVID because that was the worst I've ever had, and what the hell would explain a three week sickness? But Literally, it, COVID was duration yeah. for three to two weeks. Yeah, it. Yeah, it was three weeks long of symptoms until I was finally symptom free. The horrible crying where it made me cry tears and be bed bound for over 30 hours straight seriously uh, was for nine days. And then the rest of the days were still jack shit miserable. Um, and for 20 days or 16 days, for three weeks straight, I suffered COVID. Uh, that was the worst sickness I've ever got, and three months ago, I suffered strep, cold, and allergies for 15 days before I was symptom-free. So, basically, every four years, I have a struck in half a month sickness. <laughs> um, or every year, no, I'm joking, uh, not half a month, but... On Christmas Eve, I had a nine-day sickness, on the starting of the channel, I had a seven-day sickness, like... Uh, in a year, I had uh, one week sickness, nine day sickness, two weeks sick. Like, I, I'm, I've been sick for over a month this whole year. And it's been like uh, not even 10 months yet. <laughs> so it sucks. And it's been a. Like, for. I don't know how many times I've been sick, but it's been a little bit, a lot. Um, and there'd be random spouts where I just feel st stupidly sick um, or weird. And something medical goes on with me. But that was my horrific COVID experience. And that was it. And that was it. Um, there were so many topics. We probably went on for well over an hour. Yep. So sorry about that. It was so much fun to film this podcast. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching this podcast. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.